On the morning of July 6, 2013, the Boeing 777-200ER, operating the flight Asiana Airlines Flight 214, crashed on final approach into San Francisco International Airport in the United States. Asiana Airlines Flight 214 was a scheduled Trans-Pacific passenger flight originating from Incheon International Airport near Seoul, South Korea to San Francisco International Airport in the United States. Before watching the video, can you please save a little bit of time, like and subscribe to Skyfoos have mover to increase? The Boeing 777-28ER, registered as HL7742, was powered by two Pratt and Whitney PW4090 engines. It had its maiden flight on February 25th, 2006 and was delivered new to Asiana Airlines on March 7th. At the time of the crash, the plane had accumulated 37,120 flight hours and 5,388 takeoff and landing cycles. There were a total of 307 people on the flight, including 291 passengers and 16 crew members. The aircrew consisted of three captains and one first officer. Captain Lee Jong Min, 49 years old, was in the right seat, first officer position, and filled the dual role of a check and instructor captain and pilot in command, responsible for the safe operation of the flight. He had 12,387 hours of flying experience, of which 3,220 hours were in a 777. This was his first flight as an instructor. Lee Kong Cook, 45 years old, was in the left seat, captain position, and was the pilot flying. He was receiving his initial operating experience, IOE, training, and was halfway through ASEAN's IOE requirements. He had 9,793 hours of flying experience, of which 43 were in a 777 over 9 flights, and was operating the controls under the supervision of the instructor captain in the right seat. Relief First Officer Bong Dong Won, 40 years old, was observing from the cockpit jump seat. He had 4,557 hours of flying experience, of which 715 hours were in a 777. Relief Captain Lee jong 52 years old, occupied a business class seat in the passenger cabin. 12 flight attendants were on board, 10 South Korean and 2 Thai. Positive right. At 5.04 p.m., 8.04 Universal Time Coordinated, Flight OZ-214 took off from Incheon International Airport and it was scheduled to land at San Francisco International Airport at 11.04 a.m., 18.04 Universal Time Coordinated. The flight was uneventful until its landing. The instrument landing system's ILS vertical guidance, glide slope, on runway 28L was unavailable, as it had been taken out of service on June 1st and a notice to airmen to that effect had been issued. Therefore, the flight was cleared for a visual approach to runway 28L at 11.21 a.m. and told to maintain a speed of 180 knots, 330 kilometers per hour, until the aircraft was 5 nautical miles, 9.3 kilometers, from the runway. At 11.26 a.m., Northern California TRACON, NORCAL approach, handed the flight off to San Francisco Tower. A tower controller acknowledged the second call from the crew at 11.27 a.m., when the plane was 1.5 miles, 2.4 kilometers, away, and gave clearance to land. The weather was very good. The latest meter reported light wind, 10 miles, 16 kilometers, visibility, no precipitation, and no forecast or reports of wind shear. The pilots performed a visual approach assisted by the runway's precision approach path indicator, Poppy. This was the 777's first fatal accident, second crash, after British Airways Flight 38, and third hull loss since it began operating commercially in 1995. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my
my god. Wang Lingjia and Yiming Yuan, both Chinese, were found dead outside the aircraft soon after the crash after having been thrown out of the plane during the accident. Neither victim had been wearing their seatbelts. A third passenger died when two fire trucks ran over. A fourth passenger, Lu Yipong, died of her injuries at San Francisco General Hospital six days after the accident. She had been wearing her seatbelt and was seated in seat 42A, which is in the last row of passenger seats on the left side of the aircraft, immediately forward of door 4L. During the crash, the back of Yiping's seat rotated back and against the floor, leaving her exposed. Her injuries were likely the result of having been struck by door 4L, which separated during the airplane's final impact. Ten people in critical condition were admitted to San Francisco General Hospital and a few to Stanford Medical Center. Nine hospitals in the area admitted a total of 182 injured people. The final toll was three deaths. One person later died in hospital. A total of four people died. 303 people survived. The airport was closed for five hours after the crash. Flights destined for San Francisco were diverted to Oakland, San Jose, Sacramento, Los Angeles, Portland, and Seattle, Tacoma. The National Transportation Safety Board, NTSB, sent a team of 20 to the scene to investigate. On July 7, 2013, NTSB investigators recovered the flight data recorder and cockpit voice recorder and transported them to Washington, D.C. for analysis. Additional parties to the investigation include the Federal Aviation Administration, Airframe Manufacturer Boeing, Engine Manufacturer Pratt & Whitney, and the Korean Aviation and Railway Accident Investigation Board, ARABE. ARABE's technical advisor is Asiana Airlines. The final report into the crash was released on June 24, 2014. The NTSB found that the mismanagement of approach and inadequate monitoring of airspeed led to the crash of Asiana Flight 214. The NTSB determined that the flight crew mismanaged the initial approach and that the airplane was well above the desired glide path. In response, the captain selected an inappropriate autopilot mode, FLCH, or flight level change, which resulted in the auto throttle no longer controlling airspeed. The aircraft then descended below the desired glide path with the crew unaware of the decreasing airspeed. The attempted go-around was conducted below 100 feet, by which time it was too late. Over-reliance on automation and lack of systems understanding by the pilots were cited as major factors contributing to the accident. Contributing to the accident were 1. The complexities of the autothrottle and autopilot flight director systems that were inadequately described in Boeing's documentation and ASEANA's pilot training, which increased the likelihood of mode error. 2. The flight crew's non-standard communication and coordination regarding the use of the autothrottle and autopilot flight director systems. 3. The pilot flying's inadequate training on the planning and executing of visual approaches. 4. The pilot monitoring slash instructor pilots' inadequate supervision of the pilot flying. And 5. Flight crew fatigue, which likely degraded their performance. On August 12, 2013, Asiana Airlines announced initial payouts to crash survivors of $10,000 in 2023. On December 30, 2013, the parents and successors of the woman killed after being run over by a responding fire department vehicle filed a lawsuit against the San Francisco Fire Department. On July 15, 2013, two Korean passengers filed a lawsuit against Asiana Airlines in a California federal court for an extensive litany of errors and omissions and improper crew training and supervising. ASEANA also initially announced it would file a defamation lawsuit against KTVU for having aired the ASEANA Airlines KTVU prank, but withdrew from that course of action two days later. On February 25, 2014, the U.S. Department of Transportation fined ASEANA Airlines $500,000 for failing to keep victims and family of victims updated on the crash. Thank you for watching my video. Oh my God. If you have idea of a flight, please comment below to everyone discuss.